Welcome to the WYHS Journal, Public Affairs from 104.9. I'm Paul Kressmer, introducing today's broadcast with Matt Harper, interviewing Israel Wayne, founder of Family Renewal. 104.9 WIHS. We're delighted to have on the line today Israel Wayne from Family Renewal. Israel is an author, conference speaker, and the director of the Family Renewal Ministry. He and his wife, Brooke, are raising their 11 children in southwest Michigan. Israel, welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. First of all, I want to hear the story of God working in your life. Just take a brief minute and tell us how you came to faith, how you met your wife, and a little bit about those amazing kids. Well, thankfully, my wife and I both came to have a relationship with Christ at a young age, and uh, we were able to um, get married uh, somewhat young. I was 23. She was 20. We were both believers. Um, We have 11 children that uh, God has blessed us with, and I've been a full-time author and conference speaker for about the last 30 years. So I've been doing it for a long time, and I'm very excited to be bringing a Christian parenting conference to Connecticut. We're eager to have you up in this neck of the woods. I know in pre-production, we were kind of laughing about the fact that no one just goes through New England. You kind of have to be coming here as a destination. And we're so grateful that God's going to give us the chance to hear some of the message that you've been preaching all these years. On your bio, you've certainly been on the circuit on numerous television and radio programs throughout the country. What's the real heartbeat of the message that you like to communicate when you get a chance to speak to a mass audience? One thing that's been concerning to me as we've watched the Christian church over the last 20 or 30 years is how many young people are raised in Christian homes, raised in church, but somewhere around high school graduation or their early college years, they walk away from the beliefs and values of their parents. And I've studied all the research on this, and I believe that it is possible for us as Christian parents to not have our children grow up and be a statistic. Obviously, we don't have total control over that, but there are definitely inputs. There are things that we can do as parents to help prepare our children for the hostile secular culture that they're going to enter. And so that's what we want to try to do to raise their children in the Christian faith with a biblical worldview. Boy, that's so needed today. I want to talk about the upcoming conference in South Windsor, Connecticut, but first, tell our listeners a little bit about Family Renewal, maybe how you got started with that and the way God put that on your heart and how you've seen God build that ministry. My mother actually started a Christian publishing company back in 1988, and so I grew up in the Christian publishing world. I've spent most of my adult life working in that field, and so um, I began uh, speaking at conferences and writing books at a, a young age and um, have, have had a, a great desire to help teach parents how to disciple their children. I think there are a lot of parents who have leaned more heavily than they should on trusting the church to do the spiritual training and formation of their children. And we're thankful for the church. We're grateful for what the church does. But unfortunately, parents who have just assumed that they're getting all their spiritual training at church have come to find out after the fact that that wasn't sufficient. And so part of what Family Renewal does is we help to equip families to learn how to effectively take responsibility for the discipleship of their own children and not to just assume that they're going to get it through some other source. Boy, I love that message, and I can see why it's so important to be out there giving your life to spreading that kind of a message. Thank you for what you do. I'm looking at the topics that are going to be coming up in October here. On October 27th, there's a Discipleship Parenting Conference. Israel Wayne will be the featured speaker, and that's going to be at the Truth Baptist Church in South Windsor, Connecticut. And some of these topics are transforming learning through the art of questions, influence versus control, power of affirmation, how to keep your children in the faith. Already, I'm eager to hear what you might say about some of those things. Can you maybe just give us a nutshell, concise sum up of of what you're looking to communicate through some of those topics? Let's start with transforming learning through the art of questions. What are some of the highlights of that? Absolutely. Well, I think a lot of times what we do is we lecture our children and we talk at them. And sometimes if we do that too much, they learn to tune us out. But one of the things that I've learned from Jesus and the example of how he discipled his disciples was by asking questions. And so this session teaches us how to be better teachers, not through lecturing, but through asking questions of our children to draw out their own beliefs and assumptions. And then the influence versus control, I talk about how when our children are young, uh, obviously, as infants, uh, we have a lot of control over their life. I mean, they can't feed themselves or clothe themselves. 
They don't make decisions for themselves. We make most of those decisions for them. But when we transition to teen years, we have to move to a different model of parenting, one of influence. And I talk about how we can gain influence in the life of our children. And then power of affirmation, that's one of the key points of how we gain influence is through positive encouragement, affirmation. I talk about mistakes that we often make as parents by by not doing that and then how to effectively uh, encourage and affirm our children and then how to keep your children in the faith. This is statistics-driven and research-driven, so I'm not making promises and guarantees that like we follow this formula, we'll have 100% success and we can guarantee you the decisions our children will make because we can't do that, but we show probability and we show that there are inputs that statistically lean towards positive outcomes. And so we want to look at the things that help encourage faith in our children and then how to avoid the things that discourage faith. Boy, that's just excellent. You're tuned to 104.9 WIHS. We are your station for hope and encouragement, and we're privileged to have on the line with us today Israel Wayne, director of the Family Renewal Ministry. He is an author, conference speaker, and he writes and travels the world communicating the hope that there is in a biblical approach to parenting and schooling. And he especially is going to be hitting on that coming up in October, Friday, October 27th. He'll be in South Windsor, Connecticut at the Truth Baptist Church for a discipleship and parenting conference. There's a $15 requested donation to register, but more than anything, they just want people to show up. That cost will help defray the dinner cost you and your spouse can attend. It will be life impacting and you don't want to miss it. Israel, while we've got you on the line for another couple of minutes here, let me ask you this. Compare the issues parents face today versus what they faced 30 years ago when you started your ministry. Yeah, I think today um, we're dealing with a lot more technology. Obviously, every child's growing up with the internet, smartphones. Uh, there's a lot more uh, online danger, you know, I think, than what there was when, uh, you know, a lot of us were growing up in the 80s and 90s. And so there's a lot more uh, dynamics there. And, of course, we have resources that address those issues as well. So we hope that people can register, uh, maybe bring along friends that are Christian parents that might benefit from this event. We'd love to see everyone there. Please do sign up. Where can they go to register? Yeah, there's a website called teachct.org, teachct.org, and there is an events tab. So if you go to teachct.org, click on the events tab, there's a registration page there. People can sign up for the event. And that conference, again, is going to be at the Truth Baptist Church in South Windsor, October 27th. It's from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Dinner is included with a $15 donation for you and your spouse. Like Israel has said, bring some friends who may need to be encouraged by this content as well. Israel, Last question here for you, and I just really want to get your heartbeat. Let's say you're sitting alone in an office with a family, and they're struggling, and you don't have long with them, but if you were to give them the most essential thing to remember, what would you tell that family? I think the most important thing from a parenting standpoint is that we can't pass on to our children what we don't have. And so if we want to pass on a Christian faith to them, we have to model that. More than anything that we teach them or tell them, they have to see the reality of a relationship with Christ in our daily life. And I think that will say far more than what we say with our words. We want to teach them with our words, but more than anything, we want to exhibit a Christ-like attitude as we live with them each day in our home. Amen. For great content like this all afternoon, be sure to make the Discipleship Parenting Conference, the Truth Baptist Church in South Windsor, on Friday, October 27th, 1 p.m. to 8 p.m., $15 donation requested to cover the expense of the dinner. And again, Israel, tell us how they can register. They can go to teachct.org, look for the Events tab, and sign up online. So teachct.org. Thank you so much for giving us your time. What a privilege to talk with you, and we hope to cross paths with you next time you're in New England. Blessings, brother. Thank you so much. For more information about what you heard today, call us at 860-346-1049, 860-346-1049, or mail us to office at wihsradio.org, office at wihsradio.org. The opinions expressed are those of the participants, not necessarily those of the staff or management of the station. For Israel Wayne and Matt Harper, I'm Paul Kretschmer. The WIHS Journal is public affairs from 104.9 WIHS.